in the pinned comment, but just in case no one's actually looking, or for those of you who aren't looking, I mean, <laughs> tonight's stream is just going to be an impromptu bundle of whispers, singing, and rain, if you can hear that in the background. Um, it's been raining all afternoon. And it's now evening time and it's still raining and earlier it was really, really sending a really good vibe for making music. I was messing around on the piano earlier and my window was open. I was getting to smell the nice rain and what do you call it? I was gonna say petrichor. I think that's the word for the smell of rain after it rains. But yeah, it's been a really nice atmosphere and I wanted to share that, so. <laughs> Considering most of the time I stream these evenings, it's already late for a lot of you. I thought even though I never, ever stream on Saturdays. Uh, it might be a nice little thing to do to you know, spend some time together and just chill before bed. Or let me put you to bed, whichever. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> For tonight, you got yourself lavender as a full-time bedtime buddy. <laughs> so yeah, don't worry. No scary games. Hopefully no chaos. No screams. No squeals. Just a sleepy stream with love. Hi Vesper. Hi Zach. Hi Lily. Hello again, Mark. Hi, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, I'm literally like the last 10 minutes before pressing the live button. I was catching up on community clips because even though all, not all of your clips show up on the actual channel homepage, um, in my tab, on the left, I can see, like, people who have clipped me. It, like, categorizes it by clips I've made, and then pe things people clip of me. And I think, like, the last 15? <laughs> I was catching up on the last 15 clips you did from the Shinkansen Zero stream, as well as a little bit of Fierce the Fathom. And I think there was one from the Parasocial. I was cracking up. Rain and asphalt is top two smell. Yeah, definitely in the top ten. <sighs> mm. Hi, Pookies. I believe Petricor is before rain. I could be wrong though. Is that so? I thought it was after. I don't know for sure though. Inish, this was supposed to be to help you guys get sleepy, but as you can hear, evidently I am already quite tired. Sometimes I wonder, I don't know, do you ever wonder if 
there was such thing as like alternate realities what it feels like to live in the alternate reality where you're not tired like you don't know what it is to be tired I mean being tired is normal when you need sleep to function but like I mean like chronically tired because <laughs> I think I classify as chronically tired <laughs> There's a sleep debt that can only be triumphed by a certain few emotions and experiences in life. I feel like I'm never not tired, it's just a matter of what kind of trumps that feeling and distracts me from feeling that. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, do you ever wonder? And you were watching Jujutsu Kaisen. I really need to finish that. I've only watched the first episode, but I hear from every single person who likes that show, or I should say loves that show, that I need to watch it. I also heard that, um, I forget her name. Is it Mugen something? I heard that my personality is quite similar to her. Nobara, Nobara, not Mugen, Nobara, the short haired girl, yeah. If anyone here has watched Jujutsu Kaisen, どのキャラクターが大好き？どのキャラクターが一番好き？ What's your favorite character from the show? Hi, Hanji. Smooth Libra. I've got like 30 videos so far. Then I know it's definitely more than that. I swear it's like double that. <laughs> Basement flooded, so that was a fun several hours trying to fix the sump pump. Oh no! I hope you ended up getting it to work. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. That must have been quite the surprise. Hi, Riddler. <gasps> well, I had the number 24. Hello. Hi, Reese. It's so fun seeing you guys come back around. Give me high fives. <laughs> well, folks are basically gritty pancakes. Okay, but no, they have like a different texture though. But ingredients wise, they're probably not different. It's just the texture is changed by the lack of space between quote unquote gritties in the waffle. So I would argue they're not the same. <laughs> but that's just me being technical. Technical foodie. They are basically the same, but they're also not. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to know what it's like to not be tired. They're literally like, you must feel like Superman. I get to Wednesday and I want to hibernate. Waffles are better at holding syrup and butter. Mark, this is a top tier revelation. I didn't even see I could talk about waffles without creating them until you said that. <laughs> oh my gosh. When you have that melted, like a square full or several squares full of just melted butter, just packing the entire square. And some delicious syrup just soaking that waffle. Or 
even if you like your waffle a little crispier up top. The way it just glazes the top, oh my gosh. Waffles, waffles. I should make a song about waffles. Imagine I make an al album. <laughs> an album of lullabies just inspired by food. A ridiculous concept that is, if true, is beyond our comprehension or understanding. I think probably beyond our full comprehension, yeah. I'm supposed to be finishing my script for her work before I guess I'll have to delay it. Well, maybe you could work on it while you listen if you like. Unless this is making you tired and you want to take a nap. <laughs> favorite thing to put on a burger, but the first thing that came to mind was beets. <laughs> Just because I've never actually tried that on, bur on a burger, but I hear that's a very Australian thing to do. Um, which, it completely slipped me, but I was supposed to make goat cheese, beet grilled cheese today on sourdough bread. I don't know, I kept seeing these, like, I was searching for recipes so that I could use up the rest of my goat cheese, um, that I got to try. There's like a third of it left now, thankfully I managed to eat most of it already, but I, I made bruschetta with it the first time. You know, sourdough toast, with some olive oil, pepper, salt, stuck that in the air fryer, both sides. Stuck that in the air fryer for a bit, and then I sliced up some tomatoes and some medallions of goat cheese and layered them and a little more salt and pepper on top and then oh I almost forgot actually I put I did that's not how I did it <laughs> I put the uh I put the goat cheese and pesto and then the tomato on top so it was like uh instead of a butter imagine you're spreading butter or mayo on your bread it was goat cheese pesto and then I've stuck the medallions of tomatoes on top and put that in the air fryer and it was so good, that perfect crunch. And then this, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't talk about it, it's not funny, it was so good. And then I think last night, um, with some spaghetti and pesto, I had made the same thing, but instead of sourdough, it was, uh, like a whole wheat seven seed type of bread yeah two slices olive oil again olive oil salt pepper and then just spread the goat cheese on and had that with the spaghetti it's so good actually i've literally never had goat cheese before i realized what an acquired taste it was i really was not expecting that <laughs> but it's not enough for me to dislike it, it's just, you have to have it with the right things. Like, tomato is a really good pairing with that cheese. But yeah, it's really good, it's really rich. It really makes me want to have wine. <laughs> I only watch Doki Doki videos. <laughs> oh, but I completely went off track, sorry. My favorite thing to put on a burger? Um, aside from the conventional things like lettuce, tomato, onion, uh, caramelized onion, jalapeno, whatever, like that kind of stuff, I'd say my favorite unconventional conventional thing to put on a burger <laughs> would be onion rings. I love onion rings so much. Please tell me that it comes with a milkshake, too. So. Yeah, onion rings and a burger. Like, uh, what's it? There's that. Is it the Bloomin' Burger? Yeah, Bloomin' Burger from Outback Steakhouse. That's like 
my go-to order every time. And don't don't think that's gonna stop me from ordering ordering the bloomin' onion either. <laughs> okay, I'll get the bloomin' onion and a bloomin' burger, and I'm a happy girl. <laughs> Have you guys ever had that? It's like they cut the onion to kind of like in a lotus shape. It like blooms, hence the name blooming onion. The way the petals of onion fall out and then it has a really yummy sauce with it. Why does that sound like Figaro as a anime character? Figaro. Figaro. Of course, high five. Yeah. Thank you. Another high five. Thank you. Not me dozing off before the stream's actually started. Oh, I'm glad. Don't fight it. Waffles are pancakes. I mean, basically pancakes and waffles are the same. Waffles are just pancakes with grits and has a crunch to it. And waffles do all the service better because they can't be squared. That's a tough question. I feel like as much as I'm tempted to say waffles, because technically you could have a waffle as soft as a pancake, with the structure of waffles just being superior in general. Or you can have like Belgian waffle. Oh my gosh, brown sugar glaze for Belgian waffles. Uh, pancakes. My answer is pancakes. The reason why <laughs> is because there's so many different types of pancakes as well. <laughs> and one of the more superior ones, I cannot live without Japanese souffle pancakes. Ah, oh. yes, please. Please tell me you guys have tried Japanese souffle pancakes. And if you haven't, we're changing that this year one of your new year's resolutions you don't have a say i'm putting it on your list for you <laughs> trying japanese souffle pancakes because oh my gosh i could cry at the beauty of japanese souffle pancakes goodness gracious My grandfather is out, not critical, so he's good. I'm so happy to hear that. Praise the Lord. Bless your grandpa's health and recovery. I didn't think I could get hungry and turned on listening to you talk about <laughs> like someone is really close to 13k stuff. So yeah. I actually, I took a screenshot, but I didn't actually end up posting it. But I saw um, when I went to go start the stream, like in two hours ago, actually two hours ago, not like right before I started it, when I was opening up YouTube Studio, it shows me my channel analytics on the first plate in the first page in like a breakdown version. Um, or sorry, not a breakdown, a brief version. And it said 12,969 subs. <laughs> Love and destroy lonely EP drop space 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, destroy lonely. I literally have never listened to destroy lonely except for um, like little bits and pieces because what is it? I never listened to their music before, but one time last year, I was convinced my Spotify was hacked. Like, I don't know who had my Spotify or managed to get into it, but literally, they were always listening to Destroy Lonely. And like, I could not listen to any music myself whenever I wanted to because someone was logged into my Spotify looping Destroy Lonely songs one after the other. <laughs> it, was the most, it was the most frustrating thing ever. I was like, what am I supposed to do? 
to do in this situation. And on top of that, if you're gonna if you're gonna hack someone's Spotify to use it, pick better music. <laughs> I'm kidding. I I literally don't listen to Destroy Lonely enough to even hate on them with uh, what do you call it? With validity, but I was just being salty because my Spotify is my left leg, literally. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter, but I just thought I'd give you some good news. And yes, I know it doesn't matter if we're recording this. Why wouldn't it matter? And bro, you said that twice. Come on. It's a good thing your grandpa is out of critical. That's fantastic news. It should be celebrated. There's a lot we take for granted. It should definitely be celebrated. Mr. Riddler said the patty for the best thing on the burger. <laughs> yeah, based. Oh my gosh, what is it? Shake Shack? If you have a Shake Shack by you and you haven't tried it yet, please do. Shake Shack is delicious. And they're probably the one restaurant, fast food shop even, that I can name that has a burger that can replace real burgers for me. <laughs> Um, what is it? Their shroom burger? There was a t there was a phase where I would literally only order that whenever I went there. Basically, they would have a a portobello mushroom, and I forget. Do they use Gruyere cheese? I think it's Gr not Gruyere. Munster? Is that what it was? I'm trying to remember because I remember liking it so much and having it so many times that I was just thought, you know what, I need to make this myself. And so I went to the grocery store. This was this was a long time ago. Shake Shack has been around for a while. How long have they? Yeah, they were made in 2004. Shake Shack's been around in a while for a while. Um I was, I was still in middle school, I think. I was still in middle school when I was having this phase and I went to the grocery store. I grabbed the same mushroom, same type of cheese. I never actually ended up making the burger. I got too caught up with school and it like went bad in the fridge, but <laughs> it's so good. It's so, so good. That portobello cheddar combination is amazing and I know people who really don't like veggies, mushrooms, or vegan burgers at all and they really liked the shroom burger from Shake Shack and even said it was comparable to like a real burger that's my favorite burger from Shake Shack, hands down <laughs> yes, it beats the original burger, even by a little bit, it's so and I said vegan, but technically it has cheese, so it's not totally vegan. I think I meant vegetarian, yeah. Lab and Chief Keef album one. <laughs> so good cheese to the stalker you encountered yesterday's tree. I wonder if they'd like it. Just kidding, I don't care. They can go rot and moldy cheese. <laughs> A lasagna grilled cheese sandwich. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. A lasagna grilled cheese sandwich. I wonder how one would accomplish that. Yum, yum. No olive oil and butter is superior. <laughs> Olive oil and butter both have their uses. I'm not gonna say one's better than the other. I just like them both. It has to be a good butter though, to be honest. I've always wanted to make my own, like, French brown butter. If that's... There's a few things that I really want to discover, like the gourmet side too, and one of them is butter. The different kinds of butters and herb butters, oh my gosh. 
You should make a cooking channel at this point. <laughs> I would love to make food content. Love to. If that wasn't clear already. <laughs> I like how love always interacts with her audience. It makes me feel like I matter. Of course you matter, Reese. Is that even a question? De flood? <laughs> of course you matter. Love uses an air fryer chili cheese superiors. No. <laughs> no 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 no. Absolutely not. Honestly. I feel like oven use is superior in a way, however, there's pros and cons to both of them. I just prefer air fryer because it's smaller, more compact, and the best reason is it's faster. <laughs> I don't have to wait as long for my food when I'm a hungry girl. And it gets, like, you can just tailor the way it cooks to a really satisfying degree. Like, if you memorize the settings as you've experimented enough, you can get the perfect crunch on anything. Even if it's something that's not- you don't want it to be crunchy, you just want a little crisp on the outside. If you've done it enough, you can get that. And you know exactly how to do it every time. Um, like, even toast. Like, I've stopped using a toaster for years now. I just toast it in the air fryer. <laughs> I will say though, not all air fryers are created equal. The one I use, I think is um... Like, as great as air fryers are, I would never recommend an air fryer if it has Teflon. I would definitely recommend the ones that are either... Do they make ceramic air fryers? Either ceramic or metal. Like, basically, exercise the same rules for quality you would for stovetop materials. You know, non-stick things are great, but you don't want to sacrifice your health just to, you know, end up paying less. Because in the long run, it's just going to be better, better for you, better for your body, better tasting, better for your environment. But anyway, sorry, you didn't need that low-key lecture. <laughs> sorry. Um, the air fryer that I use is... I want to say it's Breville or Cuisine Art. Wait, Breville doesn't make air fryers, do they? <laughs> Sorry, I've had coffee on my mind. Wait, yes they do. Yeah, the one I use is Breville. It's a stainless steel air fryer. It has two racks on it, and it's still very compact. And you can switch it from like... I like the thought of this one. This is something I would take for me if I moved abroad. Take with me if I moved abroad too, because uh, you can change it between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, you can switch between modes like toast, bagel, broil, bake, um, roast, as well as... I don't remember all the settings because I only use a few most of the time. There's this pizza setting, air fry, reheat, cookies, slow cook, stuff like that. Um, but you can change the time and the temperature, all of that. You can make it convection setting or not. It's a really nice machine. <laughs> Obviously I use it a lot. There's a few things in my kitchen that I would make sure to invest in if I ever- if I moved again. I said if I ever, like I don't do that frequently. <laughs> and that's my coffee machine. Or coffee setup, I should say. My coffee gear and an air fryer. And like stovetop, uh, 
a cast iron pan and a Dutch oven pot. Maybe if we're getting fancy, one saucepan. As long as I have that, I don't need anything else in my kitchen, to be honest. Maybe an electric kettle. Yeah, an electric kettle. As long as I have that, I'm good. <laughs> what are What is your guys' right hand in the kitchen? If and when you do cook. Yeah, lesson of the day, air fryers are a gift from God. Oh, carbonara sounds delicious, especially like authentic carbonara. Oh my gosh, making me squeeze my thighs. Sheesh, <laughs> sounds like a W midnight snack. Wait, love, you should do a cooking stream. I'd love to do cooking streams. I'd probably have to wait till I move though to a different place where uh, the kitchen is more set up for that. <laughs> If I could, if I could eat more than a burger, more than two burgers, I think two is my max, and even that's pushing it. If I could eat that much, maybe I would, but I think I eat slow enough that the time it would take me to eat a burger would sound like I made an ASMR vid of eating, like, five. <laughs> Maybe that would work. You want not long ASMR. Burger, onion rings, milkshake, done deal. Mark, I like you. You know that gif where it's like the two really buff guys' arms? Like, handshaking, basically. That's us. That's us right now. Yes. Burger, onion rings, milkshake. The world is a brighter place. Bloomin' on you love those, eh? Hey. We stand some men with great taste. <laughs> Bloomin' on you on a hot day with a beer or two is amazing. Ooh, with a beer. Yum, 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 yum. Mm, I can't tell if so no, if someone's not cooking. No one usually cooks on Saturdays except for me. Every now and then. But literally all this food talk is making me smell food so intensely. And it doesn't help that it's that time of the month for me. When it's that time of the month, I tend to smell what I crave as if it's literally right in front of me. I would call it a superpower if it wasn't so debilitating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Best burger I ever made is a barbecue pulled pork burger, seasoned patties with pepper jack, cheddar cheese, bacon mixed with brown sugar, <gasps> sauteed onions, and barbecue pulled pork on top. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. I am salivating. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. My favorite burger topping is laps. Zach, calm, <laughs> calm yourself. You better think of it as onion rings in a french fry format, but present it as flour. Yeah, for real. That's a great way to explain it. Good job, Kea. I hate onion rings. <gasps> I am experiencing such genuine shock. I'm trying not to be offended for the onion rings right now. Do you hate onions? Because why else would you hate onion rings? Onion rings are great. <laughs> A New Year's resolution four months in. Yep. Exactly. It's never too late. Not until the year's over. Never too late. Mm. I'm just 
smelling. Oh my gosh, I'm smelling like buttery pancakes. Imagine like buttered pancakes with smoked syrup. Oh my gosh. And that brown sugar bacon you mentioned. Sheesh. Now I want breakfast for dinner. <laughs> that, that's something that I'd really love to do. If I ever get married. <laughs> ever. <laughs> In the future. God. I'm looking up to the sky, please. <laughs> um, if and when I ever do get married, I would love to have a little breakfast for dinner nights. You know, just our favorite breakfast foods. Because who says it has to, has to be limited to the mornings? That would be so cute. And also, not that this has to be confined to married life, but I've always wanted to go on, like, a diner date. Not just the diner date, but also on top of that. In addition to that. Like... Like those 2 a.m. kinds of diner dates. You know, find yourself a cute, clean diner with good food that stays open until 6 a.m. or like 24 7. <laughs> Where it's quiet and there's not really any other patrons. That would be so cute. I would love to do that. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised at this point, thinking of these things doesn't make me feel more single, it just makes me excited. <laughs> I really, I really want to do that. Would you guys go to a diner on a date? Uh, just write me up a full list of New Year's resolutions, please, and I'll try to do them. <laughs> Alright, number one, go to Japan. <laughs> Kidding, not kidding. They don't have to be New Year's resolutions, but we can we can definitely help inspire each other. New things to try. Make life an adventure. My Spotify playlist is 54 hours long. Do you have just one playlist? <laughs> That's crazy, 54 hours. Sheesh. Hi Nightwing. Oh, five guys burgers slap. Shake Shack's only available on the East Coast, though. Of the USA. Eh. That can't be true. What? No, that's not true. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about West Coast, but I'm pretty sure they have it in California. I know they have it in Vegas. I'd say I know they have it in New York because that's what they're that's where they're founded. But obviously that's East Coast too. I think they have it in Texas. I think. Anyway, it's definitely not just East Coast because it's also abroad. They have Shake Shacks abroad. International locations. And the only reason I even bothered to know this is because. You know the concretes they have at Shake Shack? Oh my gosh. That's one thing I love. If I can ever find a Shake Shack when I'm traveling, I love trying the city's concretes because the city's concretes because they make a exclusive recipe for each city. Basically inspired by the city. And I love Shake Shack concretes. The only one I ever didn't really like, even then it was it, it's not that I hated it just wasn't my favorite um it was, there was a shake there was a shake shack i went to in japan i think it was in tokyo um i think yeah it had like sea urchin no not sea urchin what am i talking about hold on <laughs> A 
Okay, they changed it because now it's like matcha or something. The one I had was like, it had squid ink and something else wild on there. And then there was black sesame and uh, I think there was something like vanilla wasabi or something. It was just a lot going on and it was a very acquired taste and no one else liked it. I was the only one who could appreciate the taste enough to keep eating it. <laughs> But yeah, that's the only time I was a little iffy. But yeah, Shake Shack Concretes are great in general. I really want to have a matcha one. I remember in Seoul, uh, Seoul, South Korea, they had a- there's a location where their concrete- um, I don't remember if it was seasonal or not. Basically, it was a matcha overload. Like, everything in there was matcha. It had matcha desserts mixed in, matcha ice cream, matcha- Ugh. I wanted to try it so bad. I think matcha cheesecake, too. And then in Busan, since that's a more beachy city, their concrete was a more beach-inspired recipe. Can't quite remember what was in it, though. Love, have you ever tried Fiorentina, Caccio e Pepe, and Amacicia? I have no idea what those are, however, I have heard of Fiorentina. Is that what I think it is? Oh yeah, I have not have had this. It looks delicious though, oh my gosh, I can taste the char on my tongue. You were in middle school in 2004? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <clears throat> After 2004. <laughs> Shoot, if I sounded like this at 50, that's a win. I'll take 50. Sheesh. Shake Shack is quite expensive in our country. Oh, what country are you from? Middle school in 2004, some call archaeologist. Shush. No, not middle school in 2004. <laughs> Literally, the vegan teacher cracks me up. Like, at first, when I came across her, I was befuddled. I thought she was joking. I thought she was playing this character for clout, if you will. Like, I don't know, to make money, but... I, I, I believe it now. I think maybe some of it is definitely exaggerated. No, never mind, I take that back. <laughs> She's very interesting, a character. And honestly, I would not be mad if I- if like someone clipped me saying something and she reacted to it and was like calling me- I would probably find that funny as all heck. <laughs> the vegan teacher is hilarious and she's not even trying to be. Hmm. Third dead name jump scare. I'm still getting caught up. Oh, I'm sorry. What would you like to be called? I'm literally just going off of usernames. Well, usernames and names that people give me because. Yeah. Raise you under the arrest for using app. <laughs> <laughs> I got gray hair as a needle walker. So what I'm hearing is you have white hair. Mm. We have a granddad in chat. Hey yo.
Dilfs are welcome in chat. <laughs> no outing. I'm a hungry girl in a hungry world Imagination, food is our creation Gorillion dollars. <laughs> I literally can't open my peanut M and M's because I bite my nail. My nails are too short. Oh, what is it, like a box? A box of peanut M and M's. Well, here's a tip, pun. Um. Not on the corners, because you don't want to like hurt yourself, but like in the middle, pick one side of the box where the flap is. In the middle, again, not at the corners. Push down at the creases, so like, um, you'll flatten where the crease is. I don't know if I'm making sense, you know the vertice, the vertice of the shorter end of the peanut m and box? You want to push those together so they meet and it should like start to lift the flap that's glued down so that you should be able to have a lip exposed and you can take your fingers and rip that off rather than using your nails I hope you can get it open <laughs> stove with induction cooktops and an air fryer as well as a conventional oven. Yes! That is the ideal setup in my personal opinion. <laughs> yes. I never knew an air fryer could sound so interesting until I explained about air fryers. <laughs> it was like, when people talk about how technology is advancing, well there's air fryers, air fryers, air fryers. Enough said. <laughs> I remember before my air fryer virginity was taken, I used to think it literally meant like frying things with air. Like if I wanted to make fries, golden crispy fresh fries, I didn't need oil or anything. I could just pop them in there and some, I don't know, the technology would pull stuff from the air and fry it. <laughs> I thought that that's what it meant. Merka. <laughs> Scoreboard prints. Spuds. Cry. Who else calls it spuds? I know Idahoans call it spuds. Um, is that an Irish, Dutch thing? Who calls it spuds? Do Texans call it spuds too? We got a food war brewing. <laughs> Fish and fries sounds wrong. Why did I cringe at that? It actually doesn't sound too wrong, like fish sticks and fries or, um, fish and fries. Fish tenders. <laughs> Is that a thing? Fish tenders? <laughs> yeah, fish sticks and fries, but yeah, fish and chips is superior. <gasps> That's a food that could have me moaning and groaning. A nice, fresh, handmade, beautiful beer battered fish and chips. <laughs> Top three foods, top three foods. Every time my friend says, hey, let's go eat to the restaurant, I say, bro, our kitchen is a restaurant. That's a flex, that's a flex, actually. 
Hi Gorons, how are you? Wait, you're moving again? Not right now, but like in the near future, I do plan to. And even if it wasn't like near future, I would still plan to because well, a few reasons, but one of them being I do want to do food content and that would require a different kitchen setup, but aside from that, even without that, um, I do need to move to a new place because my current location, like, it's not ideal noise-wise, like the things that are in the area. It's just not ideal, because it, it messes with my need to record, obviously, but yeah. Fries and burgers sounds right, it's not fish and fries. Knife and cutting board. Oh yeah, a good cutting board. Oh, a good knife, actually, period. A good knife is probably the most important thing in a kitchen. making stuff by conventional means like cooking or baking that's great honestly there's nothing wrong with that that's actually fantastic the only benefit that you get from uh like different tools in the mix would be saving time because cooking and baking does take a lot of effort and that's number one reason why I like the air fryer, it saves time. Like something, if I was baking a cake or brownie, which thank goodness um, I have that to use, because see, for the baking streams, if I were baking a cake, that would easily take, on average, a minimum just for the cake to bake in the oven, and that's not counting the preheat time. Um, but in the air fryer, if I, that sounds so weird, putting a cake, baking a cake in an air fryer. If I put it in the air fryer instead of the conventional oven, it can easily like half that time. Or even if it was something that needed more time, maybe 40 minutes compared to an hour. But like cookies, cookies tend to take like 30, 40 minutes. In the air fryer, it can be ready in 15 or 12 minutes and time is such a valuable thing like you can never get that back so that's a big deal to me <laughs> Graphics. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Carl Weathers from Predators the Jaguars. Thank you. Oh, pop culture. Yay. Good job, Zach. Thank you. Potatoes, spuds, fries. I was calling potatoes are starchy vegetables. <laughs> I cook in the van. Dude, I've always wanted to do van cooking. Have you ever seen those videos on YouTube that are like... Um making gourmet meals like from your truck what was i think joshua wiseman did one of those and it was like cooking from his trunk chick-fil-a like he was trying to compare it to their food or something i forget i feel like that was him and there's this woman that i used to watch she would make things from her car I think it was because she was working and she wanted to eat real and hot food so she would go into her car and cook these things like carbonara pasta from scratch or curry or literally anything. Grilled cheese. <laughs> it's really interesting you can associate what you're craving that strongly especially if you want to spot. Yeah. guys type something so she won't be able to catch up not done you naughty naughty thing <laughs> because it's my fuel tonight you 
Oh yeah, this was when you said, this was me reacting to you saying you hate fried onions. Onion rings, onion rings. Smoked syrup cleanup aisle on my pants. I mean, wait, clean up on aisle my pants. <laughs> I got this 24-7 diner literally down the road from me that sells breakfast and shakes at all times. <sighs> Yum, are they good? They even sell full cakes, cannolis, pies, milkshakes, homemade ice cream, the food is always top notch. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a dream. <laughs> if I got to Japan, I only want to go with lab, to be honest. Oh my gosh. Imagine doing an IRL stream from Japan. That's on my bucket list, to be honest. I want to take you guys around the world. But definitely, specifically Japan. <laughs> or definitely, specifically Korea, too. But definitely Japan. <laughs> Basically, a night before my flight, I went to an event and bought a sandwich. I didn't know how to roll purple onions. Um, excuse me, they're red onions. Um, actually, <laughs> I'm kidding. So I had a stomach ache and threw up on the flight, and I have PTSD. Oh no! Sheesh. Was it just a surprise, or you already knew you don't like onions? I'm such a box is crazy. <laughs> Probably a catfish, not a sea urchin. Oh gosh. That would definitely not be an ice cream. Yeah, it wasn't octopus either. It was like something sea urchin and squid ink. Not sure it will taste bad if the quality is not made well. Yeah. Mm hmm. My kita, my love. Mahalna, mahalna, mahal kita sobra. Guapo ka, mahal kita. Sana nandito ka, mahal kita. Love, are you starving or something? Do I need to come out there? Thank you. Yes, please. <laughs> this is hilarious. Keep typing, guys. You guys are so naughty. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm gonna catch up. Don't test me. I've done this plenty times before. You're not slick. <laughs> Poor love, she doesn't realize Lillian isn't my dead name. You're confusing me now. <laughs> Was I not the one dead naming you? Oh, wait, is Zach your dead name? Or Mark? Someone else's name? Reese? for every opportunity. <laughs> Not done. I was literally just wondering the same thing. I was like, dang, a whole hour has passed and I haven't even started doing what I intended to come here to do in the first place. <laughs> A 
That sounds like a nightmare baking a cake in an air fryer. <laughs> yeah, it sounds weird, but it is pretty ideal. Even brownies, ugh, air fryer brownies. Perfect. You do not snap the pasta or I'll snap something else. <laughs> <clears throat> I love mushrooms. I'm just gonna throw my kitchen sink at you. Has anyone here ever made kitchen sink cooking? Like kitchen sink brownies or kitchen sink cookies, kitchen sink cake, kitchen sink pie. Anything like that. Kitchen sink pasta. Is that something? Ah! <gasps> Ro ninja da! Hi! <laughs> what nation is Tagalog? That's out of the Philippines. And no, I don't speak Tagalog. I just... I wish I did. That would be very cool. That's it, now I'm sad. Warn me when you pass by and tell me what you want. Be careful what you choose though. Oh? Pass by, like when I pass by Italy? Question mark. <laughs> yeah guys, I'm I'm gonna reveal Elia's food in person and tell you if he was all bark or uh, all bark, no bite or not. Or if that pasta was really busting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Zach, thank you so much, you sweetheart. Love, when you see this in like 20 minutes, can you read this out loud for any, everybody and then follow up with the first sussy thing in that pretty head of yours? <laughs> Whoever said body hair is gross is crazy. leg hairs, there you go. <laughs> Reese has my dinner. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. What a- <laughs> Never mind, never mind. You know it, pookie wookie cookie wookie bear mama. Kitchen sink pasta. And some of they took the kitchen sink cookie off the Panera menu. They had that at Panera? So we're only in the past like few years I've gotten a little more educated as to what they serve at Panera. Panera? I only really went there when I was a kid and I would always order the same thing. Broccoli cheddar soup in a bread bowl. It's my favorite thing to get and the only thing I would get. <laughs> with lemonade or whatever their in-house drink was. But uh, the last time I had it, I think, was in the fall time last year. Because I was trying their soups, which were so good. But it was then that I saw oh, they actually have, like, good-sounding sandwiches and paninis and soups and salads and power items and things like that and then that demon of a drink that was like killing people or whatever i forget was it all that caffeine or all that sugar all that sugar the energy lemonade or whatever hi dan God can take me now, she made my life complete when she's walking. <laughs> if you 
Uh, guys, if you speak another language and you want to teach me some things, I am a very good student. I will be happy to learn. <laughs> She's speedrunning the chat now. Mm, this is how I roll. <laughs> she still won't to catch up to faster, guys. Alto clip. No. <laughs> Broccoli with cheese, yeah, I love broccoli, and that's yummy too. I have, I don't remember the last time I ever had that combination, but I do know that that is delicious. I've always loved broccoli, to be honest, whether it was raw with ranch <laughs> or cooked in some. Oh, what do you call it? What do you put it in? What do you put in? Something cheesy, mac and cheese. Uh, broccoli cheddar soup um, there's plenty of things that broccoli goes into it's just slipping me I never cook with broccoli but I love broccoli and things even when I was little mama lav will tell you that <laughs> when lavender was a baby she would always refer to broccoli as little twins can I have some tweets? <laughs> I love tweets. I want tweets. I want to eat tweet soup. <laughs> when does she meet? Here's a meep for you, Lord Lego. Meep. Meep, meep, meep. Meep. <laughs> not the best teacher, I'll teach you the most diabolical things to say. Well, listen, we're all already pretty out of pocket here, so it's not exactly out of our nature. Reese, I'm, ha I'm more than happy you're over the moon right now. <laughs> I'm happy to learn, hey, listen, on how to not put pineapple on pizza. Nope. Listen, I can refrain from it, but I'm not going to be one to say that it tastes bad. I'm not gonna be a hater. <laughs> Pineapple makes a great combination with the right toppings. <laughs> Y'all are haters, oh my gosh. <laughs> the striker, she voted yes on Pineapple Pizza. <laughs> not you holding it against me, that's crazy. <laughs> I'll put you on a pizza, how about that? Love your lullaby will not slow us down. <laughs> Dang it, you caught me. That's totally what I was doing. <laughs> hey, if tomatoes are fruit and goes on pizza, why not let it? <laughs> Good point, Gorons, you tell them. Pineapple on pizzas with me. <laughs> okay, listen. With mayo is not the reason why pineapple is good on pizza, but that is something that came to mind when I mentioned with other good toppings just because my pineapple pizzas that I know in America is different from pineapple pizzas that I know in Asia and they always put mayo on their pizza <laughs> pretty much always 
Mm, pizza sounds so good. <sighs> Vegetable tier list win. <laughs> okay, so we need a blocker stock tier list and a vegetable tier list. Got it. <laughs> it's not me trying to be hurt from <laughs> to is, I assume is Ebra in disguise just in case. Yeah, he's always out to get you. Better to safe than sorry. <laughs> oh my god, a pizza hold up. Now put me in a pizza please. Alright, let's play Club Penguin together. I'll put you in a pizza. I don't think- never mind, I was gonna say none of us probably taste good on pizza, but that's probably a lie. We all taste delicious. I would know, of course. <laughs> I came back and everyone's going raw on me, what's happening? My ancestors are moving in their coffins, why? Because of the pineapple protest? Or mayo on pizza? <laughs> if we're teaching love languages, I can offer Estonian. <gasps> oh, Estonia. Yes, please. I don't think I've ever learned any Estonian before. I can't even recall what that sounds like off the top of my head. Yes, please. <laughs> no humans on pizza, please. Hi, monster reader. <laughs> yes, cannibalism is bad. Getting eaten by love would be a good way to go. No cannibal roleplay. Oh gosh. Actually, I can't. I can't make any promises that I will never do that. But like. I promise you I won't paint it in a good light. <laughs> nah bro, I got big cake. I definitely taste delicious. Not telling, that's crazy. Zach, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, this is your tenth super. That's crazy. What's Labs and Chat's main school for Wizard 101? I've never played Wizard 101, but I remember when the commercials went around. <sighs> you guys are weak, she called up. <laughs> Imagine getting- <laughs> Imagine letting Mark call you weak, couldn't be me. Also, Mark, brutal, jeez. <laughs> Imagine eating a pizza with the crust first. You know, I've done that before, actually. <laughs> I wondered just how I would feel, I guess. Maybe I'll do a mukbang of eating foods in ways just to cringe you out. I'll make sure there's lots of pineapple. No, I'll order a pineapple pizza and add more pineapple to it just to get on your nerves. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Maybe. <laughs> Is it true that Italians use chopsticks to eat pasta dishes? Totally. The Wizard 101 commercials made me not want to play the game. Fair. Been lurking while playing me all the world ends with over the sleepies catching up to me also. Hi, Zero. <laughs> Have a good night, sleep well. Pat, pat, pat. 
Don't say that now. Everyone's gonna think I'm weird. Now I was crazy. <laughs> That actually sounds very tempting. Sounds like a fun time, in my personal opinion. Stop the going. Nobody cried. Nobody even noticed I saw them standing right there. I kind of thought they might care. I had a dream. I got everything I wanted. But when I wake up, I see. Say, as long as I'm here, no one can hurt you. Don't wanna lie here, but you can learn to. If I could change the way I just Just somebody's daughter could have been a nightmare But it felt like they were right there And it feels like yesterday was a year ago But I don't wanna let anybody know Cause everybody wants something from me now And I don't wanna let I had a dream I got everything I wanted But when I wake up I see you and me And you say, as long as I'm here No one can hurt you Don't wanna lie here But you can learn to if I could change the way that you say so, you wouldn't wonder why I'm here. They don't deserve you. If I knew it all, then would I do it again? Would I do it again? If they knew that they said it would go straight to my head, what would they say instead? If I knew it all then, would I do it again? Would I do it again? If they knew what I said, go straight 
to my end for this next time. That knows Russian, what the heck? You can't run from me, Lillian. <laughs> no matter what corner of the earth, dialect or language, you cannot run from me. I will learn the language of your heart and I will steal it away. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not that malicious. <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. Listening to you while eating a burger and dyeing my hair is a good day. Sounds like a vibe. Sounds like a vibe. Oh, I love the candles. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's so sweet. I love that. Uh, I gotta stay now Oh, I hope someday I'll make it out of here Even if it takes all night Or a hundred years Takes to die But I can't find J'ai l'air de vivre ma vie, j'ai l'air de vivre mes enfants par un vieux. Mais les sciences, c'est leur putain. See, the problem with me is if I don't know how to say this, but since it's a foreign thing to me and I'm just trying to read it as best makes sense in my head, any foreign language that I have no clue how to pronounce just ends up sounding French in my head. Even the other day. <laughs> The other day I was on call with a friend 
and we were uh i was reading out this what do you call it a comment there was a comment under some freestyle beat type youtube video and it was just a bunch of gibberish but i was like reading it out loud to the beat and i ended up <laughs> ironically it was like a it was a drill beat a drill freestyle beat and the way i was reading it was so like in tune with the music that it just ended up sounding like i was rapping to some french drill or something <laughs> Evening could have ended. Mm. I really hope she has 13k by the end That would be amazing. That would be crazy. You still quite, got quite a bit of room, so. Not gonna lie, I just wanna sing a duet with Lav now. Nothing stopping you, Pucket. Nothing stopping you, Pucket Pookie. <laughs> Come on, duet with me. <laughs> Peace. I love all the candles, this is so sweet. Now I'm imagining like, you know, K-pop concerts, they have the, the light sticks. Just imagining you guys around a campfire with a little candle swaying slowly back and forth. hidden part of my brain that remembers TikTok trends. <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. Hit roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Okay, last Billy song. So go use the bathroom, we'll be back. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourself. If you're hungry, thirsty, sleepy, you know the drill. Okay, be back.
Je pense que j'avais une raison et pas que c'était enchanté. C'était enchanté absolument. Magnifique. Bonne nuit, tant bien. It's a language I can't read or understand. I'm going to assume it's French. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you for reminding me to open my Red Bull. I saw that. Oh no! No, not the Red Bull! At least drink with water, please, please, please. Yeah, usually she just falls asleep. <laughs> I categorize naps under when nature calls. applied to work at a new Tokyo office. <gasps> I pray you'll hear that good news. That's really awesome. A winter as what? One R, two R, three R. Oh my gosh, you guys turned the chat into Jurassic Park when I was gone. Oh, random said it. Welcome to Jurassic Lab. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where did that pink lady come from? Um, honestly, I was supposed to put her, <laughs> put her on when I started singing, but we ended up with an hour of black screen because we were getting carried away chatting, which is not a bad thing at all. Laugh, do you like Luffy? I love her, love her. In fact, uh, the other week, the other week when I visited this boba shop that I order from regularly, it was my first time being there in person, I, I was like falling in love with the little details that they had. They had like little boba plushies you could buy and on the menu they had, now's not time left, I'm not gonna nerd out and talk your ears off about boba. Anyway, they were playing Lovey over the radio, and I was like, yep, that's the cherry on top. This is my new favorite place. <laughs> I'm seeing Lovey in concert, and I am quite excited. <gasps> you lucky thing. <laughs> I hope you have a great time. It's us. Tie self to cinder block. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> That's so cute. You guys are so cute. That was the next pink guy, Filthy Frank. Oh my gosh. The internet's not ready for me. <laughs> you guys want some ASMR? I have some toast here. And I was right. I think someone did make... Um... Pancakes. Maybe. The sausage. The smoked sausage was what I was smelling. What 
thing the rain is picking up. No, in fact, I'm actually gonna drink two Red Bulls now in the water. No, Lillian! No! Red Bull vodka? Oh my gosh, no, it gets worse! <laughs> I'm living in her walls. <laughs> Yeesh. Oh no, it's a Chilla's art game all over again. Oh my gosh, speaking of living in walls, there's two things that come to mind in terms of media. Macho Libre and she shit really is boring. Um The Boy. I think that's still on Netflix actually. The Boy, which recently I finally watched the second installment of because they made a second one. to bring one of my friends to the concert as a surprise, but unfortunately she's having trouble walking. Oh no. Oh, it probably sucks because, I mean, I don't know if he told her or not, but I'd imagine she'd be very sad too. It's okay, you can take me instead. <laughs> I'll be your local Lovie stand to go to a concert with. <laughs> Speaking of living in walls, ma'am, turn the microphone off. <gasps> oh my gosh. What was it called? Does anyone know? There's a word, there's a synonym for like squatting. What is it called? Oh, this is gonna bother me. Um, there's a word for like squatting in houses that well I was gonna say squatting in houses that aren't yours, but that's kind of saying the same thing over again. Anyway. Yeah, it's like these testimonies of people who discover people living in their houses without their knowledge. And it's so crazy. I think I watched a couple episodes. But it was so, so freaky. Some of them more than others, to be honest. Like, oh, there was this one episode. I don't know, do you guys want to hear about it? I'm not gonna talk about it if you don't wanna hear about it. I'm not gonna spoil it if you're gonna watch it. Unless you asked me to. <laughs> Rule of thumb. Sourdough toast with garlic pesto on it. Mm.
Frogging, that's what it's called. Frogging. <laughs> yeah, I never would have gotten that. It's called frogging. Um, the one that comes to mind. Actually, where can you watch this? It's on Lifetime Hulu. A and E Crime Central. Hulu. I think Hulu is where I was watching it. I watched this back in December. Um, let me see if I can find which episode it was. experiments I think that was the one Okay, so what happens in this episode is this woman and her husband, they come home and they notice, obviously I think you heard that little segment there, they noticed something of his was out, his bike, which I assume costs a lot of money because they're like, why the heck is this out? And so he grabs like a bat and they come up to the door and someone answers the door to their house as they're coming out. <laughs> the dude answers the door and the husband drags him out onto the front lawn and they call the police and whatnot and the woman's like filming with her cam with her phone camera and they go into the house and they see that things are like organized in a different way almost like they were ready to I don't know it didn't quite look like someone was ready to yard sale the house or something, but it was organized in a certain way, which was very off, and let's see, let's see her talk about it. Okay, there's a towel set out with knives on it, and next to the knives are the couple's computers, and so she goes to look at the computer, and... She turns the button, and presses the button, the screen comes on, and she finds these text documents on the computers, and they're titled, The Omnivore Trials. And I can read these to you guys if you want me to read the documents, but if not, I'll just simplify. And essentially, the person who's been squatting in this house, they've been typing these notes up by themselves called the Omnivore Trials of Rehabilitation for Rat-like people. <laughs> it's not funny, but like, out of context it is funny. The Rehabilitation for Rat People. <laughs> it sounds like you're dissing someone, but this dude is serious. So this person had been keeping this digital journal on their computers about them and like making several entries and he's been profiling them down to the very nitty-gritty details um, and they're like she was reading things in these entries that no one knew except for them because obviously you, some, you would say things in the confidentiality of your own home right thinking that it's confidential and it's your personal private space like no one knew that they were trying to have a baby but he knew clearly from these entries and he wrote that she should try she should give up on trying to have a baby and focus on the children that she already has and so the squatter was not not only trashed their house but they were stalking them 
listening in on to their private conversations. It was so great. And I remember um, when, just when I thought things were already sick and creepy, she found a video on the on the computer and it was like him using the webcam to do a video entry and it was like how to oh, I forget the context it was something about manipulating appearance or like just trying to learn what she was doing and you see this man they play the video you see this man like picking up her makeup her brushes and doing his own makeup and it was like so so eerie and he was talking while he was doing it too I came to the stream thinking I was sleeping and I was like, all these discussions are getting me occasionally <laughs> Hi Revenant, how are you? I won't be able to sleep tonight, my mind will be thinking someone's in the attic now <laughs> Don't worry Pookie, it's just me Go to sleep Row, row, row to sleep gently down the stream Under the clouds and the winter bell Down to sleep we go I'm cuddling my pillow scared me <laughs> No! How did they not notice? I mean... I don't know if you... From the retelling of the story you know how they do some of these shows they'll do they'll hire actors to like rebuild a skit sort of so it's really unclear unless they have actual footage how big their house was sometimes if you have a bigger house and it's like nowhere there's no creaking whatever or you're barely in your house or you know it's not sometimes there's also no excuses sometimes people just aren't perceptive Sometimes it's a mixture of things. There was another episode where... Uh, I actually liked this episode because the couple was very smart, both of them. <laughs> uh, they lived in... Or it was the guy's apartment. He lived in this like high-rise apartment. They were very financially well-off. It was a very large space and it had more than one floor to it. Um, and they were very you know, mentally aware. They had both fallen asleep on the couch, which was on the lower level, um, in the living room, watching something together. And they actually show the footage from their, like, cameras in the house. I forget why he said he had cameras in the house. Maybe he had help or something that he hired from time to time, so it was helpful to have that. Uh, but the video camera show, like, at the very top of the stairs, this dude just standing there for minutes and minutes and minutes, tens of minutes, just standing there, watching them, and watching the house, observing. And he's, like, in a hoodie and sweats or something, and then he disappears back down the hall. And the girl, the woman actually gets up first, and she explains that that night, um if they had a dog or the dogs um had like peed on the blankets or something and they put it in the wash and so they had to that's why they were sleeping on the couch that's right so they were waiting for the wash to be done and she went to go check on the load she disappeared down the hall not minutes after the dude disappeared down the hall as well but they never ran into each other and then the dude came up too and they never run into each other and you watch on the camera again the, the intruder just walks down the stairs he just stealthily comes down the stairs and he exits the house and the next day she's like looking for her purse and she's like no i know it was left here blah 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 and it kind of starts this little discourse between the couple because he's like well are you sh you must have left it somewhere else because it's not here and she's like no babe i know i left it here and so he's like okay 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 we'll just we'll just check the cameras and neither of them expected obviously neither of them expected what they would find on the cameras it's like crazy stories like that i have one more that i could probably recount to you but 
I don't know, I might be talking your ear off at this point. <laughs> Common writer. I have not. I don't think I've ever seen that. Mm -hmm. Should be a teddy bear named Pookie. <laughs> That's so cute. That's adorable. See it on the. Daddy demands it as crazy as <laughs> me. <laughs> Sourdough started from stack. It's intimidating you. Who counts what Pookie's doing? It's tricky to see. Yeah, it is really creepy. that in the US because then they get shot. Yeah, if you have a weapon, <laughs> maybe. The other one? Okay, um... I'm trying to remember these in as much detail as I can. The other one was... Oh, there was this group of best friends. I think there were three of them. Four? Three? Anyways, not totally important. There's this group of girls. They're all college students. Best friends. They get this space together. It's so on the first floor, they all have their own rooms, and their own bathrooms, I think, too. And, uh, long story short, over time they start noticing, like, things going missing, and it's, like, driving them crazy. Like, one girl, her brush goes, her hairbrush goes missing, and things like that. Clothes, whatever. Hair ties. You know, things that are little enough, but important enough that it's like, what the heck is going on? But enough that you can just shrug it off like, oh, I must have been stupid and left it somewhere, but... Uh, long story short, one of the girls comes home by herself. She's the first one to arrive home that night. And... I'm trying to remember the sequence of events. She goes in the bathroom. She goes to the bathroom. She, I think she took a shower or something. And she noticed, you know how the mirror fogs up. She noticed a handprint on the mirror. She was like, oh heck no. There is not a ghost in this place. Long story short, you know, fast forward a little more. She hears a noise in her room and her phone is all the way in the kitchen counter, but she decides to go check out what's in her room first. She opens her closet door, and there's a man in her closet. I forget if he was sitting or standing. He was, I think he was sitting in her closet. And he's dressed in her clothes. He's dressed in her clothes. And then she's like, who, who are you? Why are you here? And eventually she goes and gets her phone, calls the police, or she brings it back and then calls the police. Anyway, she was actually conversing, having a dialogue with this person. And the dude was actually being like, this is in no way justifying any of his behavior. It's just a contrast to the, normally what you find in these situations. He was actually being very tame. Like, 
he was like, I know I'm not supposed to be here. I'm just really lonely. And at some point he asked her for a hug. And oh, it's crazy. It's so crazy. It's time to run out of the building, right? <laughs> Apparently, I think it was revealed that... Oh, in the living room, they had like an armchair pressed up against the window that they never opened. Because it was like broken or something. Well, obviously it wasn't totally broken. Because that's how he was getting in and out of their place. And you could see after the police came. Um on the like spread of grass outside the window was the things that they'd lost like the hairbrush etc and the thing is she didn't even call the cops she didn't call the cops she was gonna let him walk she was like feeling bad with him after talk feeling bad for him after talking with him she let him walk and she had to go to the convenience store too or gas station whatever which was in relatively the same direction and at said gas station the cops happened to be parked outside, so she was like, Yo, that man over there? I just found him in my house. And then they came and questioned her, man. Call me crazy, but that looks like divine intervention to me. <laughs> God was like, Hey, yo, Missy, I know you're not about to let that man walk free. No consequences. So he said, think again, and the cops are right there. I'm pretty sure she didn't give him the hug. I think she was, she was being cordial, but she was still drawing boundaries, like, this is not okay. And so I don't think she gave him the hug. shouldn't but I feel slightly bad for the dude that he shouldn't have broken in. No. I don't blame you because when I was watching the episode I remember having the same conflict myself. Like yeah you should not have done that. That's not any way you should cope with how you're feeling but but considering his behavior and his disposition, even when he was caught doing something, he would obviously be put away for a long time for it. He was still just like, like he what he didn't lash out or anything. It's like you could tell he he was genuinely lonely and just desperate. And I think that's why I still felt bad, despite the situation. Though, again, I'm not saying this to justify his actions or like it makes it any better, but I also feel like it should be considered his mental state because it does not make sense if you are lonely, even desperately so that you would be sneaking in and out of someone's house that doesn't belong to you to try on their clothes and take their things like there's just there's obviously a mental disconnect there so i feel i don't know how the situation was resolved but i would imagine instead of just playing getting put away for 20 years or something 10 he probably got some leniency for, I don't know, therapy or something. 
He's probably considered mentally unwell. In no other situation should you let that man walk. <laughs> yeah, a hard case. He can walk in my house at a small price of his life. <laughs> oh no. Do what you gotta do, Reese. <gasps> we got you. Go back to singing. <gasps> I hope you got help rather than being thrown in jail because it sounds like he needed it. Yeah. I mean, I think because there's different types of jail, I still think he should serve some jail time. But. Probably not something so severe, just for, what do you call it, chaperoning purposes, if you will, while he gets the help he needs. Because also, the person who was technically reporting the crime wasn't gonna call the cops, and you know, if she was gonna be a good Samaritan, she would be letting him just receive therapy and wouldn't report it as a crime. So I think that considered too would lessen his sentence. I don't know though. Hi Eternal and hi George. True crime discussion. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> fun to watch some true crime stuff together. Made 
something I wait for Something I made Thank you, Eternal. You sweet butter baby. <laughs> Well said, Mark. <laughs> well said. Have you run your fingers down the wall? And have you felt your neck skin crawl? When you're searching for the light? Sometimes when you're scared to take a look at the corner. <laughs> Why are you trying to spook your pookies out? Why are you being such a spooky pookie? <laughs> she jumping so <laughs> Hello Ali. How are you? Is it on direct or on replay? Did you really check the attic? Crap. Are you being for real right now? Tell me you're not. <laughs> and um, Ali to answer your question. This is a live, but it will be replayable afterwards. en direct mais il sera les jouables il devra du bon archive 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 you will be able to replay shadows to work some words that sounds like a stream title that will come up in the future <laughs> English, your accent is like your son, but you're French. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. I was worried that. Yeah, my French. My. <laughs> my Span Spanish. My French off the cuff is quite bad, so I was worried if you didn't speak English, you would understand my response to your initial question. My cookie jet or cookie jar? <laughs> Have you ever been to the Philippines? No, I've never been to the Philippines before. OG random, remembering my- telling my answers before I say <laughs> Good memory. Yeah, I am interested. Block Emma Stone. 
What am I boy? Haha, <laughs> miss me, now you gotta kiss me. Boyfriend behaviors. <laughs> it's so cute. Lavender's glizzy, what the heck? <laughs> C'est 5 heures du matin actuellement de m'endurer. Oh my goodness. Why aren't you asleep? Why are you not asleep? Pourquoi ne demande pas? Ah, it's water! Mingo, mingo! I know it's been a, lot, a while since I was last here because I just started college. Of course I didn't forget you, love. It's good to be back and miss you. Oh, it's good to have you back. Guys, do you remember water? How's student life been treating you? Why does Nick force to shower me? <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? What is going on? Blood, what is you on about? Oh my gosh, okay, the song is by one of my favorite, favorite, favorite artists who, if you stalk my Discord status, you'll know that I've been listening to the song on repeat because she just dropped it and I've been waiting for it to come out, Cruise Control by Loon Lapid. <sighs> anyway, yeah. this song is also by her. <clears throat> Mais pas si fatigue si... Oh blablabla. <rire> pas si fatigue de dormir. T'as pas le droit, hein? Could you be back? Hope you all have been hydrated for those... No, we were deserted. No water in sight. We started drinking cactus water as advised by Sokka. It's good to have you back though. Now we won't be dehydrated. Yeah, I'd love to win my Tabahama. What then if it's been night? Forget it, what it used to be like. To sleep in the night, hear you breathing. Your life is so easy to be in. If we could just freeze time, pretend that you always have been mine. The second I leave you, we're all done. Go back to pretending I'm no one. I'm wondering how. I'm everything and then nothing. How are you so detached? A lot of your sight, a lot of your mind. Forget what we have. I'm so hot since I took it to bed. Yeah, why are you even showing? I don't want to leave you tomorrow Cause when I leave you never follow There's something permanent is it Cause when it's not there you don't miss it Swear there was a red string Connecting a piece of you to me But I'm guessing I just remember <laughs> But I'm guessing I just misread that 
I heard the kidnap and you go inside. I'm wondering how I'm everything and then nothing. How are you so detached? Well, I love you, son. I love you, mind. Forget what we have. I'm so in the present, I'm stuck in the past. How are you? So detached. <laughs> that was the reason I cut my meatloaf and drops of why are you doing this? <laughs> Why? It's so unnecessary. Why did you have to put that in my brain? Stock of Black Lavender's Japanese language tutor. <laughs> My tutor that made me ada ada for him. <laughs> oh, of course, not Don Remembered. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Gabby. How are you? Good to see you again. My son? Who is my son? What did I just turn into the Virgin Mary or something? Who is my son? can manage to get sponsored by or just gifted from some <laughs> sourdough starter bakery company whatever <laughs> just a bunch of sourdough loaves Lord Fartington the third ESQ has decided to gift me with this violation of the Geneva Convention <laughs> by farting again. <laughs> no, actually though, dog farts are some of the most vile farts on earth. <laughs> Legitimately. Watch those paternal, paternal courts shows. Some of those can be so funny. Oh 
is just a madness. Sitting in the car, listening to blood falling for each other. Kicking all these guys, feeling super jealous. Slipped on a cover. This girl from my mother. Where you at tonight? Got no alibi. I was all alone with the love of my life. She's got good as your skin. My radiant in the night. I don't need no light to see you shine. It's your faltering between octaves here. <laughs> we were just lovers. Beat up on the dash, driving nowhere fast, burning through the summer. Radio and blast make the moment last. She got solar power. The minutes feel like hours. She knew she was the baddest. Can you even imagine falling like a dead for the love of my life? She's got glow on her face, so glorious look in her eyes. My angel of light, with the love of my life. She's got glitter for skin, a radiant beam in the night. I don't need no light to see you. It's your golden eye. Oh, you slow down time. <laughs> I love that song too. You guys have good taste. Mm. Oh, should we have a Luke Skywalker moment in chat? No, Eternal. I am your father. <laughs> Ew! Brown tomato sauce. Why are you. Again, unnecessary. Why are you doing this? <laughs> You are a different breed. <laughs> My 2% Italian genes are getting angry. <laughs> Why do you think your fruit punch is always yellow instead of red? What? You mean orange? <laughs> oh gosh. I wonder if I could do a karaoke stream one day that like Frenchifies a bunch of songs. And I don't mean like if I could begin to be like writing it in English, but instead actually singing a French translation of these songs. So you put a Nothing. If I could begin to be half of what you think of me, I could do about anything. I could even learn how to love when I see the way you act. Wondering when I'm coming back, I could do about anything. I could even learn how to love like you 
Talking about yellow showers, bro. <laughs> Can you say you understand my cash? Are you saying that on the 21st stream or well, that the stream can say? Oh, yeah, sure thing, honey. I've actually been listening to that song recently. I love that song. isn't deep at all but like his voice is deep <laughs> it's deep yes it's deep oh, I want someone to sing me to sleep with this song oh my gosh on some raw guitar Never thought that I'd find that the one in my life would be so near. And now you're here. I got you, you got me. When it's us, babe, you make me feel complete. You're all I need. Ooh. Thank you. 
is the easiest one to get. <laughs> Late night thoughts type thing. <laughs> Too deep. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. It always makes me smile. I don't know if you can- oh, you probably can hear it in my voice when I look at the screen and I see the little hearts floating up from the button. It makes me stretch such a wide grin. <laughs> I'm such a simple-minded <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I do not have any unregistered firearms, thank you. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, it's big boy. Snap. <laughs> Use the sweet water. Stop the cat. <laughs> That's a false advertising. <laughs> can I cut your hair so I can quilt it into a blanket? I don't think um, I have enough hair right now for you to make a blanket out of. <gasps> Unless you're just trying to like thread it into a blanket. That's crazy. That's some yarn that I typed ish. Yo. <laughs> That's crazy. I do have toe rings actually. Not on me right now. Because it's cold and it burns socks. But... Oh, that's another reason to be excited for spring and summer. Feet jewelry, ankle jewelry. Okay, I'll shut up. Sunday afternoon, and I'm still in bed with you. Nothing else I wanna do. Boy, from the place you like, we don't need to go outside. Cause something about you feels so right. Can we stay like this forever? White dress or whatever. I keep dreaming there's a somewhere. Where we grow up together, it's you But it's so easy to do Yeah, it's easy, baby oh.
Let's say she's gonna sit on a Tesla dryer at 500 pages. No, listen. <laughs> listen. Listen. I did not promise that. <laughs> I will stop on your head. I'm reading some of the most outrageous chats here. What happened? Well, it's gone. I don't remember. It was unhinged. Yeah. Ask them, not me. I have nothing to do with it. Also, Eternal, what is wrong? What is with the fake news? Elections aren't even here yet. <laughs> Can you try to sit on tiptoe? Tiptoe through the window. Wait, isn't it tiptoe through the tulips in the garden by the window? That is where I'll see you tiptoe through the tulips with me. Or wait, maybe it's tiptoe to the window. I kiss you in the garden, in the moonlight, will you pardon me and tiptoe through the tulips with me? I'll say hi. Hi. Stop lying now. I got screenshots now. <laughs> Same Eve. I'm never weird in chat. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> literal, not literal, liberal propaganda. I'm literally the most normal one here. Oh my gosh. That is rich. That is richer than dark chocolate. <laughs> That's crazy. Eternal being the, <laughs> the least out of pocket person here. You guys, this is true. Tell you what, we're gonna play some ranked, some ranked League of Legends right here.
Who else should we add to this? Oh, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> oh, I'm so curious what the outcome is going to be. <laughs> He wrote this thing when she loved me Toy Story 2. What song is that? Wait, this was from Toy Story? I never knew that. I almost... Wow, it's been a long time since I watched Toy Story 2. I did not know this was in this movie. And from the title, like, I knew a song, but I didn't realize it was going to be the same song. Sure. Oh my gosh, there's no way Zach is winning. <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually insane. Wait, I need to see what I... Oh my gosh, Eve didn't even make second place. That's wild. And they fight? <laughs> then eternal? This is not what I expected. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, what is this based on? Where is the, where is the supporting evidence? Y'all know talent when you see it. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I completely forgot how to say this. 
When somebody loves me, everything was beautiful. Every hour spread togetherness within my heart. And when she was sad, I was there to dry her tears. And when she was happy, so was I. When she loved me, through the sun. Oh my gosh, hold on. <clears throat> I don't think I can hit that. She <laughs> okay, let me try. <laughs> through the summer. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking hard. Hold on, nothing, nothing gets past lavender. Oh, we're gonna do this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Connor is here. Hi. <laughs> Connor should be on that pole. I just don't know who I'd take off the pole to fit him. Hey, yo. Through the summer and fall, we had each other, that was all. Just she and I together, like it was meant to be. And when she was lonely, I was there to comfort her. And I knew that she loved me. So the years went by. Someone clipped the voice. <laughs> I'm almost never says okay I love how you say almost <laughs> almost lonely and forgotten never thought she'd look my way and she smiled at me and held me just like she used to do Like she loved me When she loved me When somebody loved me Everything was beautiful Every hour spent togetherness Within my heart Like she loved me when she loved me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean the other Connor, hello This goes to Connor, see That was a quote here for lemonade <laughs> I'm the only one here strong enough to carry lavender out of a car wreck. Wait, what? Well, who's responsible for the car wreck? That's what I want to know. Hmm. <laughs> I simply wouldn't crash. <laughs> Lathe, you're literally him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just How did you get last place with the egg? <laughs> There's no way. That is actually wild. That is actually wild. <laughs> egg that receives abuse. What? No. No, we don't. We don't support abuse here. No, sir. Love, did I weed him any mod now? Um. Wait, who decided that that would make me mod? <laughs> if anything, I need my mod to not be sussy. Well. Something like that. 
Hi, brother, brother. Gaming and entertainment. Love and him. No, I don't. Eve is wholesome, Lord. <laughs> Y'all get over with this, you want to say. Oh, I think Big Boy's mad he didn't get first place. To pray for you in the morning. <laughs> I'll start a poll when we vote the most normal one in chat. Oh, there's too many of you to put on there though. Uh, we gotta keep Eve under the radar so he can get closer to <laughs> You guys doing some Mission Impossible type fish. I'm the only one here with enough spirituality to talk about after. Jeez. No, that is a him flex. Spirituality, sheesh. <laughs> so see this man in chat. But I want to be mud. But I want to be mud. So see this man in chat. <laughs> we have an Eve voter among us. You guys can't do this to me. I started this company. I was the first. Do you know how much I sacrificed to have this hair? No one has hair like Midoriya. <laughs> we gotta run more polls. You guys like pretty buttons, don't you? up with that <laughs> or do you think do you think you make top four riddler Are you top four sussy <laughs> imagine your mod being called the sussiest man in <laughs> no that'd be so funny That's when you know you're in a banger streak. I'm just nice and wholesome and love spooning, says the one who- <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, I'm not gonna at you like that. Just to us. You and I. Left eye was blurry. Oh my gosh. Forever young. 
some people need three dozen roses, and that's the only way to prove you love them. Hand me the world on a silver platter, and what good would it be with no one to share, with no one who drew? cares for me Some people want it all But I don't want to thin it all If it ain't you, baby If I got you, baby Some people want diamond rings Some just want every day But every day means nothing If I ain't got you, you, you Some people want it all But I don't want nothing at all If it ain't you, baby Some people want time and rings Some just want everything But everything means nothing If I ain't got you, baby, baby Nothing in this whole wide world don't mean a thing If I ain't got you with me, baby If I don't have you, Pookie, this world means nothing to me Connor and I are probably the most annoying as chat. <laughs> I'm somewhere in the one ish AO. Where all of it says even laugh. I love how you say even laugh, like I would be in the runner ups of the only wholesome poll and not the sus poll. <laughs> I genuinely don't know if I would just be on both polls or in between them. Ew, profanity. Stop it, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I may not be religious, but I really appreciate if last Christian helps you through a night terror. Oh, that makes I'm very glad. Very, very glad. In my Christian Minecraft chat. I was born in Birmingham. on a card sucks. Man, to meet love in real life must be a privilege. You know, um, I've been, it's been coming to my knowledge recently more and more like VTuber drama that keeps circulating all the way from Twitter onto YouTube. And I've been, I guess, educating myself with some things that have happened. Excuse me. And during said ventures, I was seeing that, like, amongst which communities of VTubers do they feel comfortable going to Twitch cons or weeb cons or anime cons or whatever and meeting up with friends or other VTubers and stuff, IRL, or even seeing on Twitter on my feed people posting uh, selfies of their outfit like, hey, this is what I'm wearing, say hi to me today. And it just, it just led me to think and consider like, would I ever do this in the future? Like, like nothing, no, I didn't have anything else to add, I guess. That was just a question that I was asking myself, I was curious what that, what kind of future that would look like. 
Which, speaking of, isn't TwitchCon in Europe? Right now. So, Lav, I mean, Lav, Striker, you're probably already gone, but take care. What's your name? Hi, Dark Elves. Lav, please wait for me until 2026. That's when we can legally be together. I have the perfect date. It's mostly just you mentally verbally and physically. Could you hear me putting my 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 head my face in my hand? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, take care, Kea. You deserve the rest. Go to sleep, honey. Sweet dreams and God bless. Good night. Okay, don't go too out of pocket, big boy. <sighs> you two were fans scary. <laughs> well, no comment. <laughs> What's with the VTuber drama? You know, taking that question at black and white, I was literally asking myself the same question. Like, why is there so much drama? It feels like there is always so much drama. And especially recently, like, what is going on? All of this is just coming up one after another. It's not stopping. As a VTuber fan, VTuber fans scare me. <laughs> Valid. I hate VTubers. Their humor is literally being gay and expressing how they want to have sex with each other. Okay, I'm not gonna deny that that exists, because it definitely does, but that's not VTubers in general. Unfortunately, that- I can't even say it's the majority, but like, I guess a lot of mainstream VTubers, what you would consider mainstream now, you may see that. I say may, I'm putting it lightly, but there's still a handful of really good entertainers of VTubers who are funny to watch without any sort of sexual appeal being mentioned or uh, Fujo baiting. Like those two dog VTubers posted at cafe people, cafe photo and people geolocated them. Oh my gosh. The only time I like VTubers is when they show their feet, which is pretty hot. Wait. So do you hate them or do you like them? If that's pretty often. Hi, Agamundo. Considering we play parasocial, maybe they are kind of scary. Yeah. <sighs> Nappy Nappy's tired.
Storms are raging on the rolling sea And on the highway of regret The winds of change are blowing wild and free You ain't seen nothing like me yet I can make you happy Make your dreams come true Know there's nothing that I wouldn't do Go to the ends of the earth for you To make you feel my love To make you feel my reason for all the drama lately is that ex corporate talents are just finally tired of being in silence. And they've got Kate Blaine also one of this more contract side of service. <clears throat> I feel like I, I definitely have my um, two cents on the matter, but yeah, right on. I was feeling tension. Cottontail. I'm familiar with Cottontail and Beejol, I think. The trivia Bob Dylan was the, yeah, Bob Dylan was the one who made that song. Doing couple little while wrapping yellow bottom jeans is like you <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, isn't cottontail like spicier in general? Kind of, it's kind of counterintuitive to accuse, not accuse, not accuse, but insert better terminology um, to like at her for, or at any VTubers in general for being uh, a certain way towards each other if their content or their usual character is uh, a certain way already not saying that's the case for her because i honestly don't watch any of those youtubers i wouldn't know but i think
think I've just I've come by them on Twitter. So just my best guess. Hmm. I've been branded before. What? Hopefully consensually. Oh my goodness. Enough streams is the only thing I'm looking forward to in life. She gives us a couple of vibes. Aww. I hope that while you have your stay here, you think up some bigger dreams. Because you deserve better things. I'm just, I'm just a tiny little corner of the internet. <laughs> Honestly, you guys are what makes us great, not me. It's a community, not me. Voice of the room never shut up. <laughs> Probably start to be an ASMR on my channel later. You should. If that's something you want to do, you should. Lavender is good. <laughs> they, instead of water is good, he'd name it what is good. Just like I open up most streams. What's good? What's good? What is good? I really appreciate all the love in this light noise from your stuff. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear that. Um. Surprise, surprise. Maybe not surprise. I actually do very minimal editing in that regard. Like. I can only think of one time, probably, and this was like a year ago, that I actually used the noise reduction tool. But it was just it was just because I really didn't want to re-record. Re I couldn't afford to, and I had already recorded this entire thing, and I was trying so hard to salvage this audio. Um, but I couldn't help the environment. I was staying at some, at, I was staying at someone else's place. And this is early lavender, of course. Yeah, I, that was the only time that I ever used the noise removal tool. I don't like messing with those because um, I'm not gonna say it's bad or that like you can't have a good audio with it. It's just with the style of audio that I want to produce. Uh, I want to. Preserve, yes, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I really want to make it a point to preserve any richness or warmth in the audio, in the recording, and you're not going to get that 9.9999999 times out of 10. You're not going to get that if you're drowning your audio out in audacity with you know, compression and noise reduction and dehissers and blah, 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 all that stuff, like all of those at once. Again, if you know what you're doing with audio, you can do a better job about it. But yeah, if you're just clicking these buttons to remove background noise and reduce sound and hit put limits and actually, I'm not gonna talk about limits, limits is fine. It's just gonna end up leaving your audio really stripped, and it's not gonna sound as close to the listener. It's not gonna sound as comforting. It's not gonna sound as real. And it's not gonna sound as soothing. I would say in my personal and professional opinion. Like, my personal opinion, and then just technically speaking, literally, objective. 
effectively, yeah. Because the thing is, when you're... It's, it's great to remove weird frequencies from the background, but in reality... Um, like... How do I say this? It's great to remove weird frequencies and, you know, oversaturated noises, like white noises and stuff. However, not completely. That's why if you, if you completely strip an audio, it's just gonna sound strange and it's gonna sound dry. Because in real life, in reality, as you go about your day to day, there's always some sort of white noise for some people more than others. You know, if you have, we each hear through different ears, but in life, objectively, there's always some sort of white noise going on, there's some static sounds. And so, I make it a point to keep that for realism's sake, because that definitely, you know, here's the psychology behind the audios that definitely lends to the comforting, or sorry, the comfort of the audio. Because, um, kind of to the opposite effect of, you know, animations and games and movies that kind of really try to make this whole another world for you to escape into that's not like real life. Um, that shows these really cute, fun, and entertaining stories where things are better, you know, to the opposite effect. I, re I really believe you can make audios where it's closer to what real life feels like, it just changes the reality of it or changes the nature of it, if that makes sense. So like, instead of making an environment that's totally different from real life, I would argue that it's better to make a realistic environment and change the nature of what's happening in it into something positive. Because then, again, psychology behind the audio, you'll, you'll be lent to... Is it lent or lended? You will be lended to look, like subconsciously, look at your real life with a more positive lens, even when you least expect it, before you even notice, I guess. But yeah, sorry, that's, um, you didn't ask, but I said it anyway, <laughs> that's my thoughts on that. Something non audio people mess up ASMR sleep aid stuff with. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> no, but my editing is definitely not perfect. I have so much to learn. I definitely mess up my audio editing, but I'm getting better. Definitely getting better with it. Movie to bar I watch his laugh. Got a brand of laughs that'll go in my th so no, please no. <laughs> Dude, the foot would be so cute. I wanna, I wanna make a temporary tattoo and like put it on my wrist or something or my thigh <laughs> or my ankle. Oh, my ankle. to your smurf vtuber model <laughs> that model was not mine it was just something that i was using um i was allowed to use it i just it wasn't like mine quiet asmr comes there should be an actual thing <laughs> person ASMR audio, then I figured, nah, they don't really fall asleep with fighting sounds and moans around. <laughs> Shoot, if that's something you want to do, maybe we can work on it together. I'm sure there's a way you can accomplish that. And heck, a 
doesn't have to involve punching necessarily to be a fight sequence, you know? You could manipulate someone, trap them, wrestle them, squeeze their neck in a chokehold or whatever. You know, those are ASMR sounds. Pull their hair, I don't know. Or kicking in the shin might like, have less blow than a punch. Or kicking by their knee. Kicking their butt. <laughs> Literally. A lovely corner of the internet it is. Hi, Bray World. Perfectly sweet, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. Audio helps my insomnia. I keep playing her audios before going to sleep. This is <laughs> got me flustered. I swear when I hear this, it really makes my heart swell with joy. I feel like I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna talk about feelings. <laughs> I um I'm not gonna say a struggle with, it used to be a struggle, but I tend to experience a lot of numbness. I used to see it as a very negative thing, but now I just, you know, it is what it is, and I understand why that's something that I experience, but I also, at this point, understand how I guess how it affects my life in different aspects and one one thing is I feel I feel like it's not strange for me to register something and um, I'm sorry perceive something and then register it in two completely separate ways like like for example, if I read a read something that makes me happy to hear, like I'll understand it mentally because I'm a realist. I'll understand that oh, this is something that wood does. <laughs> I should say wood for the sake of what I'm explaining. This is something that would make me very happy, but I don't. I wouldn't always feel, you know, the emotional reaction. Instead, I would just understand that it's something really positive and I would feel like a very muted version of whatever emotion that would incur. Now is not the case. You know, I genuinely, like, I can feel my heart, you know, warm up and the grin spreads on my face and I feel all giddy inside, like it genuinely makes me super happy to hear that I can help other people get rest or feel comfort or safer or forget about bad things and things like that. Just, uh, just the other day I got a letter from someone talking about how um, I'm not going to give too much specifics because I don't know how much they would like their story being shared, so I'll just keep it general. Um, one of my audios ended up reminding them of a very paramountal experience they had that helped them start getting over a traumatic experience. Um, I'm not going to say what kind of traumatic experience, but I can surely hint at it. In fact, I intend to make content specifically targeted at this because it's something that's very important to me. Um, in case you didn't know, April is a month of sexual awareness month, like sexual assault and, you know, such. It's an awareness month for that. and. 
essentially they found it hard to, like many do, who have gone through something like that, found it hard to be in touch with their sexuality or being intimate with anyone, even if it was someone they really, really loved or someone close to them. However, getting, you know, through this experience with this, uh, key character, key role in their life, um, they were able to start exploring that in a safe way, and it was literally just because they were there to hold them and listen to them, listen to them confess what had happened to them, and my audio was the first thing ever since then to remind them of that, and it was very healing, their words were healing, and that really spoke to me, and again, such a topic is something that's very crucial to me, and so, like, even, I was gonna do it then, and even now, recounting those words, like, it makes me want to cry, because, <sighs> no matter how numb, I'm used to feeling like that's something that will always peek through, you know, I'm not even saying like me, like people around the world, there's so many people who not only have such a negative traumatic experience, but even more so, I've never been able to talk about it, share it with anyone, and it just stays hidden, buried, deep, in concaves that no one will ever know about until they tell someone. And oftentimes, they are still in a situation, still in an environment where they don't feel safe to tell anyone, so they just, it's not their fault, really that they're not getting healing yet because they don't feel safe to seek that and it breaks my heart because it's like you thought once the experience is over then things would be okay like things would be better soon once the experience is over but in reality the very sad truth and reality is that most people hold on to that and it's not because they want to. And I would really hope to... I hope make a safer space for people. And it doesn't have to be an instance of SA. It can be other triggers. It can be other things that have given people PTSD. Any sort of trauma. Because we're all human, and we can only handle so much on our own, you know? We won't, after all, we weren't, we weren't born or created to be on our own. And I'm even more excited by how you have it. Honestly, that's like, forget post editing, like editing in post. If you treat your recording environment, that can do all the editing for you. easy to overdo the production end without taking lots of time selecting so they have a Thank you, Bright World. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. If I wasn't single, I'd be excited to come back. 
What do you mean, Pookie? We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you in bed. Now come to bed. Clover's editing is amazing. Truth. And I'm glad you liked that short. Plays off as being wholesome and really she's the sussiest of us. <sighs> no cuento. <laughs> Bomba. Jeez, I shouldn't joke about wanting to be assaulted though. <laughs> I think when you're obvious that you're joking and you're in a space where everyone else thinks it's fine, like no one's getting triggered and they find it funny, you know, there's not a whole lot of harm being done, you know, we can have, we can have a laugh, though it is, it is good to be aware, depending on your space, you know, not everyone may be able to handle it, and it's just good to be able to adapt, so as long as you keep that in mind. second what Connor said. And I also second what Bright World said. You know, I was thinking, <laughs> I don't think you guys realize how much I actually think about you, like, off cam, off stream, off mic. There are times where I'll remember things that you've said, or things that we've laughed about in chat or whatever. And I'll just laugh to myself, just a completely random moment throughout my day, like, oh my gosh, my chat is so funny. Like, you guys are genuinely hilarious, but why I bring this up is because that's a positive trait, and what I wanted to say is that you guys are also so smart. And sometimes I also think about how you all have your own lives, obviously, like, you each have your unique hobbies and interests and career paths, occupations, and ways you spend your time, and then somehow each one of you all ends up in this same shared space, this one little cozy spot, and that blows my mind. That genuinely blows my mind. It doesn't even feel appropriate to be horsing around on your channel. feel like it has a much higher purpose. Now see, this is all parts of the higher purpose. The fun we have goofing around and stuff is all part of the higher purpose. Right chat? <laughs> I've been wondering if you could do a self-harm comfort audio if needed a good one and I trust you'd make a banger. And I've had that one requested quite a few times. I want to make one, just... It's not even something... You know, it's always a concern of time. Like, this idea versus another one, but... That's not even it in this case. It's like... It's just such a sensitive topic. And... It's not like, and I don't mean that like it's so sensitive I don't want to touch it, I'm afraid I'll F it up, but because, because I've been in these places myself, I understand from a different lens just how sensitive it is and I want to be able to make something proper. <laughs> and so, yeah, 
Yeah, I still haven't made one. I guess. Was a good night, sweet dreams. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Erica. How are you? Okay, good night, Connor. Take care. Take care. Have a restful Sunday. By Connor too. <laughs> we already put the other paint on. Oh no. <gasps> Aragon, please tell me you're joking. Oh my gosh. Please, please tell me you're joking. Oh, broke your leg and a concussion. As terrible as that is, I am glad. It didn't go further than that. Things could be much worse. That's gotta be tough though, and you must be in pain. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to ride the heli. <gasps> Shoot, not a lot of people can say that. Like Mark said, that's some ski trip. <laughs> and no, Connor, you're completely fine. You're completely fine. Your your request is one hundred percent okay. Please don't get the wrong idea. Yeah, please, please rest and heal fast. Heal quickly, or else. Gosh, why are you guys breaking so many bones? Sheesh. You're supposed to be you're supposed to be worried about one bone. And that has an R at the end of it, okay? No more breaking bones. I break a 
bone just on morphine is crazy. <laughs> Spiner. <laughs> Skuller. <laughs> Talking about the fever, right? I'm gonna snap my bone with an or like a glow stick is crazy. Love me ten years ago. Does he laugh the way I did? Is this a part of your story? One that I had never read. Maybe one day you'll feel lonely and his eyes will get a glimpse. Maybe you'll start slipping slowly and find me again when you're out of sight in my mind. Cause sometimes I look in your eyes and that's where I find a glimpse of us. And I try to fall for a touch. But I'm thinking of the way it was Said I'm fine, said I moved on I'm only here passing time in our arms Hoping I'll find a glimpse of us Still raining hard, sheesh. Like hard, hard. <laughs> Was in the forest and got ran into by my mate who lost control of the trees when I were coffee and got in the land like whoa. Oof. Oh baby. <laughs> think I'm crazy, but they don't understand, you're all I have, you're all I have, and I when the stars light up night, sit by myself, talking to the moon.
Someone's talking back. Yeah, they're talking back. And I when the stars light up my room. I sit by myself talking to the moon. Trying to get to you. You're on the other side Talking to me too Am I a fool? I sit alone Talking to the moon Talking to the moon Talking to the moon Ain't no way it's actually raining that sound effects. No. <laughs> I can turn off the rain sounds in the stream. Like I turn it off and I fade this to black. There's, this is all organic sound, if you can hear it in the back. Da, 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 da. Mm. We need to hear laundry stuff. <laughs> Coughs in upcoming Patreon content. <laughs> when you guys, I, I may or may not have been starting to practice my freestyling, freestyling skills or lack thereof. Trying to build them is a more accurate way to say it. Cause I wanna, I wanna try. I'm always looking for new ways to entertain you guys, so. But yeah, not this stream, just cause that's not um, cohesive with the current vibes and we're gonna be ending stream soon anyway. <sighs> or maybe, maybe we won't end it. <laughs> when do these things drop off? 14 hours, 11 hours, 10, I don't know, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll just ride the wave for now. <laughs> this is a great vibe for my Sunday morning, not gonna lie. Yay! How's it still raining? It doesn't even rain that much in England. Is that true? <laughs> Casually playing guitar here and found myself playing along with your voice. <gasps> I thought that I wish I could hear that. That's so sweet. Was this stream planned or spontaneous? This was spontaneous. Yeah. The most thoughts that I had about doing a Saturday stream was last night, Friday night, late at night. I thought maybe, 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 big fat capital M, maybe I would try to do the stream that I had prepared for last weekend, which was supposed to be like a presentation style stream like classroom style TED talk of the origins of Easter, like what the holiday actually is, quote unquote holiday. Um, I wanted to do it last weekend because obviously, you know, education and awareness and whatnot, but I didn't want to be doing it the weekend of Easter because then it would feel like, um, 
I didn't want anyone to feel like I was trying to rain on their parade for celebrating Easter. It was supposed to be educational, <laughs> you know, um, but just one thing after another. And then, yeah, today would have been the last day to do it if I wanted to save salvage that, but I slept in. I've been so exhausted this week, and by the time I actually managed to fall asleep, it's like I'm out. And there's no waking me up until my body is done with sleeping, so... Yeah. This was definitely spontaneous. The real laugh, Shady. <sighs> 24 hour stream. <laughs> No, I don't know if I can handle that. No, 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 no. Maybe... Maybe for another milestone we can attempt the 24-hour stream again. I don't know, I have obligations to go take care, guys. Night love. Good night, Mark. Sweet dreams. Rest well. And be safe on your way out tomorrow. You get one day of sun per annum, I swear. <laughs> Stop with the profanity. <laughs> Got 10 inches this morning. Sheesh. Oh my goodness. Shoot. Trying to make Eve jealous? Who else you got in the picture? Yay. Gotta stay awake late more often to catch the streams in. No. As much as I want you there, I also don't want you to sacrifice your sleep schedule. If anything, I need to fix mine. Um, if I could just... actually sleep through the night I could do early streams too earlier on in the day but until then I'm doing my best to do streams as early as I can which ends up being still evening time technically the first and the last and only early stream I've ever done was the live laugh love one where I started at lunchtime I think Around lunchtime. The irony, I can't get to your plan stream yet. I'm here on this random one. I do. I promise you, I'm doing my best to give variety with what I can. Um, if you send out a notification like hours earlier, then I can plan nap. So it ain't a problem. Okay, not taken. I don't have a sleep schedule. Mine's a freestyle. Shoot. This man's sleep is for the streets, he said. Early on in the day for you is night for me, hun. Is that better or worse? <laughs> it's kind of, kind of, kind of the goal. Just because most people are like freer in the evening time. But <sighs> oh gosh, these yawns are taking everything out of me. Jeez.
Bro, I'm so tired that even looking at Kona's out-of-pocket comment, I just, like, blank stared at it. <laughs> Processing. <laughs> what are you even talking about? Doing amazing in the hospital and being high on meds are really good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, poor Pookie. I think we should not all get high with Erica. We should be sober chaperones, supporting and loving on him. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Speaking of morphine, life's the most thing I ever done. Cause it would take a whole lot of medication to realize what we used to have. We all have been loved, the love religion that could save me. No matter how long I need you on the floor oh, Just keep in mind all the sacrifices I'm making To keep you by my side To keep you from walking out the door Cause that'd be the sunlight If I lose you, baby There'll be no clear skies if I lose you, baby, just like the clouds, my eyes won't tell the same. If you walk away, every day it rain, 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 rain. Daddy can't even look me in the eye Oh, if I was in their shoes, I'd be doing the same thing Saying, there goes my little girl, walking with a troublesome guy But they're just afraid of something they can't understand But little darling, watch me change their minds if you I try, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try And pick up these broken pieces till I'm bleeding If that'll make you mine Cause there'll be no sunlight If I lose you, baby There'll be no clear skies If I lose you, baby Just like the clouds, my Eyes will do the same if you walk away. Every day it'll rain, 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 rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Night bright world. Don't you say goodbye. Don't you say goodbye I'll pick up these broken pieces till I'm bleeding If that'll make it right There'll be no sunlight If I lose you, baby There'll be no clear skies If I lose you, baby Just like the clouds my Eyes will do the same if you walk away Every day to rain, 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 rain. 
yummy, 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 yummy. Wag wag waste man. Sign baby, you feel so good, big enough. Have song on the radio, but it don't sound the same. When our friends talk about you all the time, you just tear me down. Cause my heart breaks a little. When I hear your name, it all just sounds like ooh, ooh. Mm, too young to tell, to realize that I should have brought you flowers and held your hand, should have given you all my hours when I had it. Take you to every party Cause all you wanted to do was dance Now I'm not play this dancing But she's dancing with another man My pride, my ego, my needs and my selfish ways Cause a good strong woman like you to walk out my life now I'll never love it gets clear of the mess I made oh, And that haunts me every time I close my eyes It all just sounds like ooh, ooh. Mm, Too young to talk to realize That I should have bought you flowers and held your hand Should've given you all my hours When I had a chance Take you to every party Cause all you wanted to do was dance Now I'm not baby dancing But she's dancing with another man Though it hurts I'll be the first to say too late to try and apologize for my mistakes but i just want you to know i hope he buys you flowers hope he holds your hand gives you all his hours when he has the chance takes you to every party cause i remember what did you love to dance do all the things I should have done I was me Do all the things I should have done I was your man Don't test me, Connor. The very thing you said you didn't want to happen very much will happen. <laughs> Never rock. <laughs> I he was literally like I have the power of God and anime on my side. Rawr. <laughs> hmm. Lovey Debbie needs to sleep for real. <laughs> and some of you do too. Gaslighting is your specialty, remember? And not mine. I'm proud of you. You and me, we made a vow. For better or for worse. I can't believe you let me down. But the proofs in the way it hurts. For months on end, I've had my doubts. Denying every tear I wish 
this would be over now But I know that I still need you here You say I'm crazy Cause you don't think I know what you've done But when you call me baby I know I'm not the only one You've been so unavailable no, sadly, I know why Your heart is so unattainable Even though Lord knows you can't lie You say I'm crazy Cause you don't think I know what you've done But when I have loved you for many years Maybe I am just not enough You've made me feel that's my deepest fear By lying and tearing yourself You say I'm crazy Cause you think I know what you've done But when you call me baby I know I'm not the only one You say I'm crazy Cause you don't think I know what you've done But when Lav is a gazillion times better than Taylor. Is that true? <laughs> you fixed me wrong. Well. What the heck? Whoa, what the actual heck? Am I the only one who inspects the stream's picture to suddenly blink because of how uncanny she is? Dude, look. Guess who has been trying to teach herself after effects eventually I will get to that level of editing if I don't have someone to do it for me I will do it myself <laughs> I will have flowing hair and maybe not moving lips that's a bit much but rising chest and breathing and blinking eyes and tapping fingers the whole the whole shebang Stuff of feeding my future nightmares. <laughs> Would you guys prefer static images? Do you prefer static or slightly animated? <sighs> Ooh. 
Honey Shiro san is playing. That's right, he's online. Niji VTuber with a lot of drama currently is currently live playing Shinkansen Zero. I genuinely have never watched a Luca stream a day in my life. <laughs> when I read about the drama. I was thinking back to when I first saw this dude debuting and I'm not gonna make any comments because you know I don't know them as a person I just thought that they must have been you know more likely than not they're just another feather of the same flock of you know the conventional male vtuber personalities that are already out at the time um so I've never watched one of their streams, but I wonder if their content is like, like can hold its own, I guess. If their content holds its own against whatever negative traffic would be a result of the current allegations and stuff. Did I play the game wrong? I just clicked his stream for a quick second. And you know how we had the older sister and the little boy? And the little boy was the one telling us what we're supposed to do. Right now I'm watching and he is talking to the sister who was asleep the whole time. She's talking about like, okay, the train has finally stopped looping. What if we start the train at the same time? Bro, did I miss an ending? That's right, that's right. Because on the Steam achievements, it didn't show that I got all of them. And I was like, oh, there was that one ending. But I thought that was just like, if I didn't miss anything. Only fans. <laughs> slightly animated, both slightly animated would be good. Driver's easiest way full anime fight scene in the back. <laughs> So you didn't get away from the Niju crowd. What is this one? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not talking about him anymore. Just the, the game. Because now I'm genuinely curious. Maybe at some point I'll go back to see if I can finish the game, the rest of it. See if I can get that other ending. There's no bullying in. Who's Snuffy? Niz got it. Someone say Feisty. Nope. Oh, random heard his name. Monta mm, got it.
I need a full Naruto body. <laughs> It's not much of a life you're living It's not just something you take, it's given Round and around and around and around we go Oh, now tell me, now tell me, now tell me Oh, trash panda snuffy. Not really sure how to feel about it. Something in the way you move makes me feel like I can't live without you. It takes me all the way. I want you to stay. Oh, yeah. 
Imagine love doing a Joe D com a compression impression. <laughs> no, don't make me sleep paralysis. Uh, hospital breakfast would be actually fine. <laughs> yeah, what do you got? What do you got this morning? I got an auto clipper that replies for one second. That's crazy. I got piano fingers, so take that off. Sheesh. Sheesh. What do you say? What do you say? Bro, why did it do that? Why is it forbidding me from using the emojis? What on earth? I said, okay. I guess we'll just take that L. Hi, Off World, how are you? Um. Did love sing another love? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
they were all yellow. But you're not here next to me They say it's too late to make it But is it too late to try? Is it a time that you wasted all of our bridge you fell down I've wasted my nights You turned out the lights Now I'm paralyzed Still stuck in that time When we called you love But even the sun sets in paradise I'm at a place I'm trying to call home All of my changes Spent on you Where have the times gone? Maybe it's all wrong Where are the plans we made for two? If happy ever after did exist I would still be holding you like this All those fairy tales are full of beep One more effing love song, I'll be sick <laughs> You turn your back on tomorrow Cause you forgot yesterday I'm giving my love to borrow But you just gave it away You can't expect me to be fine I don't expect you to care I know I've said it before But all of the bridges burned down I've wasted my nights You turned out the lights Now I'm paralyzed Still stuck in that time When we called in love But even the sun sets in paradise I'm at a place to go home, all of my changes spent on you. Where have the times gone, baby? It's all wrong. Where are the plans we made for two? If happy ever after did exist, I would still be holding you like this. And all those fairy tales are full of beef All of the love song I'll be dead. Also, your food, both of you sound so good Yum, keep happy, keep safe, see you at Simka Stop rubbing it in my face, you naughty naughty Literally, you naughty naughty, you teaching me right now. <laughs> I'm doing good, I'm tired, but I'm good. I'm glad to hear that you're off being active and safe and having fun. Also, catching Connor in 4K right now. What happened to I'm so wholesome, I'm never sus. <laughs> my socks too, why is this happening? Oh my gosh. Someone's been a busy busting bee. <laughs> you mean busting bee? I had to pause to put my chair down and recline it a little. I'm getting way too tired. 
hard to be sitting 90 degrees. <sighs> Sleep. I can't believe it's already almost been five hours. It's size t-shirt so I can just tuck my arms inside <laughs> and cross my arms and I'm Gucci. whisper of smoke you lose everything that should be never know so I'll kiss you wrong goodbye but I just that I can't I'll make the most of the minutes and love with no regrets let's take our time Say what we want, use what we got before it's all gone. Cause no, and I promise tomorrow. So I'm gonna love 
what his life without to shoot if I can get it in I'd like to do a hospital ASMR for you <laughs> you guys all you guys will all know where this came from thank Aragon for the hospital ASMR <laughs> smelling chocolate covered strawberries I guess I'm craving that now Ugh. Smiled over your shoulder All minute I was stone cold sober I pulled you closer to my chest And you asked me to stay over I said I already told you I think that you should get some rest I knew I loved you then But you never know Cause I played it cool and I was scared of letting go I know I needed you, but I never show But I wanna stay with you until we're gray and old Just say you won't let go Just say you won't let go Breakfast in bed I'll bring you coffee with a kiss on your head I just had the thought Who could have what he just said in the song done for you Except maybe minus the kiss on your forehead For the nurses You should get that all over I wanna dance with you right now And you look as beautiful as ever And I swear that every day you get better You make me feel this way somehow I'm so in love with you And I hope you know Darling, your love is more than worth its weight in gold We've come so far, my dear Look how we've grown And I want to stay with you until we're gray and old Just say you won't let go Just say Death apart, like in our robes. 
So I wrote this song for you. Now everybody knows that it's just you and me to to a grave alone. So say you won't let go. Just say you won't let go. Say you won't let go. Just say. Thank you, I appreciate the help, Aragorn. Yeah, you are the prime subject. <laughs> she is the auditor. <laughs> I'm glad that you're having a fairly good experience. That's very comforting to know. And yeah, you got us. We're hiding under your sheets. All your pookie wookies. <laughs> So flushed with fever, embarrassed by the crown. I filled them the letters in each one of them. I pray that he would finish, but he just can't write. Stinky Lulavis. <laughs> Connor's the shining crap. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Bob Ross ASMR sounds like a great idea. Be right back. I'm gonna put some on my hands because unlike parasocial you don't have crusty hands
just pop into chat like, what happened? Why'd she go silent? I can't tell if you came back into stream or you were just lurking until now. <laughs> but that's kind of cute. Don't spam cream in chat. It's only, it's only gonna go in one place. Into my hands. happened in Germany and Netherlands. <laughs> I love this emoji, bro. Dang, we officially reached the five hour mark. I don't know if I should keep ちょっと疲れた。is a movie oh you're the best part oh you're the best part oh, best part is the sunrise and those brown eyes yeah you're the one
French nurse ASMR. Sheesh. Sheesh. If sleep, oh, if tired, sleep. If Giga Chat, stay awake. Word. <laughs> if love says a word with the vowel, she loves me. Things alike, practically every word means I love you. Sheesh. If she breathes, she does it. All right. Q asphyxiation ASMR. <laughs> That was for you, Connor. <laughs> This is not a me, this is not a you initially 
Didn't wanna fall for you Yet in my attention it was all for you So don't take advantage to leave my heart Don't miss to understand that things go A little bit better when you plan it all So won't you send me your location Let's focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come through Send me your location Let's ride the vibrations I don't need nothing else to put you So please, so let's get personal I got a lot of cool spots that we can go Tell me what's the move and I got you Only I can just cause I like you Just give me the vibe to move sliding Might make you my by the night time Send me your location is Focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come through Oh, send me your location Let's write the vibrations I don't need nothing else but you Else but you Right, right, right Send me your location, let's focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come through Less than a minute, that's poor, that was not less than a minute away <laughs> No. -uh. Well, love hates me, she's gonna do that just to prove she doesn't love it. Bro, did you hear me holding my breath for a minute? <laughs> that was me after I couldn't hold it anymore. <laughs> that wasn't me going, <gasps> I hate Connor. <laughs> How goes it? <gasps> Danny boy. Feels good. I'm so tired. Daddy tucked me in. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, we're just young, dumb, young, young, dumb in love. But we still got love to give, young, dumb, young, young, dumb in love. Young dumb broke high school kids. We have so much in common. We argue all the time. You always say I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. What's fun about commitment? Oh, we have a life to live. Yeah, we're just young dumb and broke. But we still got love to give while we're young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke, young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke, young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke, young, dumb, broke high school kids. I've had a great sleep with some singing occasionally this evening. <laughs> Do you have any dreams? shut my eyes for a moment. Yes, sir. It does. That nice, sleepy, cozy vibes. Yes, sir. Now I'm pulling the blankets off. Laugh. <laughs> Why? So mean. So mean to me. How's <laughs> it been six years since it came out? I feel old, right? And thank you, Andrew. And yeah, it is nostalgic, isn't it, brother? Oh my gosh, we got a swag of Pino in chat. <laughs> what's good, what's good? I can feel those places in your heart no one else can Let me show you love, oh I don't pretend I'll be right here baby, you know how it sink or swim Oh, don't you Somebody 
you had sweet dreams even if you can't remember <laughs> COVID stole two years of our lives but COVID honestly those two years feel like a fever dream I remember what I did but like I can't believe those two whole years sheesh it's a crazy time to be alive ain't it It's been 16 minutes. Sticking the cat off the so I still don't know that song. <laughs> How long can I keep my sticking your gut up for the result of being virginity? I should start counting how many streams we have. Number 69. You know, you know, you know I never ask you to change. If I fix what you search for, just stay the same. Don't even bother asking if you look okay, and I'll say. When I see your face. There's not a thing that I would change Cause you're amazing Just the way you are And when you smile The whole world stops and stares for a while Cause girl you're just the way you are wake up to the coffee stream oh that'd be nice imagine a sleepover and waking up together stream 
Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. Streaming that long with the Pookie Wookies. It's crazy. <sighs> Hi, Benji. Here listening and wondering how I know all these songs. I will imagine I haven't heard most of them more than once. <laughs> really? Only once. That's that's an accomplishment. <laughs> this is stream 37. Okay, we're halfway there. <laughs> halfway there. A little over. Healthy sleeping habits are part of a good mental and physical health. Make sure to get your sleep. So wholesome, even with the little smiley face. Thank you. Yeah, oh, you guys heard him. You heard the man. <sighs> okay. <laughs> the pookie wookies. <laughs> For now, yeah. Okay, this stream has gotten to be five hours and a half, five and a half hours. We're going to cut it here so some of us can go to sleep and the rest of you can get on with your days. Thank you guys. This was fun. This was chill. This was relaxing and overall a great time. I hope you know. Whether or not I am breathing, Connor, I'm looking at you. <laughs> I love you very, 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 very much. And I hope you have a... <sighs> a good day, good night. Sweet dreams. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you tomorrow slash today because it's already midnight for me see you for our next stream our spooky sunday oh wait actually it's not spooky sunday it's supposed to be baking duh but you know you know what maybe maybe i'll do both maybe spooky sunday with some sweets stuff has to bake in the oven anyway i can do stuff in the meantime but yeah, if you're tired, go bed. Bed bye. Bitty bye. <laughs> and Aragon, please take care while you're in the hospital. Never feel bad if you want to check in. Oh gosh, my head. I'm gonna have some company. We're praying for your health and quick recovery. And. Good night, Nightwing. Yeah, keep us updated. Love you all. Keep happy. Keep safe. Bye bye. Not done Done. First love sent you to sleep and she sent me awake. Absolutely. <laughs> Didn't you fall asleep at the right time? <laughs> Good night, Reese. Good night, Riddler. I'm not breathing till my stream. <laughs> imagine, imagine you could accomplish that. That'd be so such a flex. Don't like, don't go out of your way. But like, if, just if, <laughs> wouldn't that be interesting? That would be so impressive. Imagine if we didn't actually need to breathe so much. That'd be crazy too. Also, good night, Michael. Also, good night to all you lurkers, whether or not you pop in to say good night. <laughs> good night to you. Whenever you do. Okay? Good night, good day. And don't forget the most important word, aside from L O V E begins and ends with an R. Ready for it? Are you ready kids? 
I'm gonna end the stream right on five minutes and thirty minutes. I mean, five, minutes, five hours and thirty minutes. Right? <laughs> the most important thing to remember is. Right.